Well, just on the on the school update, it's um, new leadership, but there is uh, still very strong commitment to sustainability uh -huh. and to integration uh, and to PRME. Uh -huh. um, and I was pleased as well that there's commitment to continue the involvement with GRLI as well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it's definitely a transition phase now. You know, we pushed both Paul and I for his continued involvement up until Vermont. I think that makes sense. Um, and after that, uh, we'll see. But uh, definitely, uh, I will stay involved. I think there is real value in in building a uh, or in having deep relationships growing between this kind of uh, group. And I do think that uh, where it makes sense, things will emerge from that uh, between uh, bilaterally or, or multilaterally between the parties. So I kind of like that it's not another meeting where we're coming out with deliverables and more actions because everybody's you know, as it is, has plenty to do. Mm -hmm. Everybody's there because they want to create impact, mm -hmm. but there's not many spaces where you can share why it's so difficult mm -hmm. and uh, how to have a, overcome some of those barriers, what has worked sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's a more honest forum than than most uh, mm -hmm. where, where people have that security, that emotional security that they mm. can actually reveal to each other, to a peer group, um, mm. what, uh, what's been difficult, what hasn't worked, mm. um, but also the, the fruits of the experience, which is vast. Mm. Mm -hmm. The power is more how the, the, the dialogues or the forums give you a chance to enact it. To, to sort of experience it or to feel it um, mm -hmm. and maybe also to share examples from from our own lives of where where it does work so we need to create a space for sharing the best practice um, mm -hmm. this, the story essentially of what what Vermont has gone through but in a way that is is really about um, trying to link it to other people's experience um, of, of where they've tried something similar and it has or hasn't worked or, you know, or even challenging and saying, well, that may work in Vermont, but, you know. Context differs. Yeah, yeah. Differentiates this group from a, from a PRME, for example, or, or the other groups that are out there. You know, they are very much about integrating let's say responsible management of education, integrating it into research, into teaching. Mm -hmm. And it strikes me that this group where we, the way we do things and where we've got to can go deeper. And what I don't see in the other groups is any discussion of values. Uh, how, I mean, how is it, how do you, get people to recognize their values. There's, when I say people, the young leaders, how do you get them to really engage with the values discussion and, and you know, cultivate those values as a basis for action? The other f one in terms of voices in the room, um, I think uh, Kate Raworth is becoming a very interesting voice. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm because what she's doing with donut economics just cuts to the core of, of um, the way that we teach our leaders, what we teach our leaders you know, and whether they, they've bought into that um, old economic system or the prevailing economic system. And most people don't have the, um, the intellectual ammunition to question it. And, and she's done a very good job in, in structuring that and, 
Uh, yeah, it's the paradigm that that is uh, we're we're still teaching it. Right? Yeah, we and teaching a bit of CSR and sustainability isn't really changing that. Yeah, or signing a declaration. Yeah.